we're very interested in, in and think that there's a real opportunity for some of these biological materials and chemical biological threat uh, detection and protection because the biological materials offer really a selectivity for compounds amidst the diverse environment that's hard to get with other types of technologies. And so we're, we currently are working in four different directions in this area. One is on developing soaps uh, for the decontamination of large areas in an environmentally friendly manner. And we're collaborating uh, with uh, Natick a soldier um, research engineering development center, NSR deck on this project. And then we're also working on producing new barrier membranes um, that can protect people selectively against different sorts of toxic chemical agents. And the idea here is to make smart membranes that will basically protect you when you're in the presence of a toxic chemical, but be breathable and sort of easy to wear like Gore-Tex in the absence of a toxic chemical. So specifically respond only to, to dangerous threats in the environment. And this is a collaborative project with several uh, university researchers here at MIT and at the uh, University of California, Santa Barbara, and also at NSR Deck. And then we're also working uh, collaboratively with Katerine Ribeck in um, the Department of Biological Engineering on a project where we're aiming to understand the biology of certain biological barriers, mucus and nucleopore membranes, uh, which is a membrane in the nucleus that keeps your DNA in and essentially keeps everything that might damage the DNA out. And we want to copy these barrier membranes for biological protection to basically help keep people free of pathogens. And then the final project, which is, is just getting underway, is uh, an industry academic partnership led by FLIR Corporation, um, their Pittsburgh office which is aimed at producing catalysts, these sort of uh, catalysts that can degrade bulk chemical toxins. So something where you can use a, a biological catalyst to essentially eliminate large stockpiles of toxic chemicals. And so each of these is really addressing a separate issue of, of uh, chem bio protection and, and mitigation. On the lab scale, we have some working prototypes in, in some of the important ben academic benchmark tests. And what we're working on doing now is driving this to a broader set of different benchmarking tests to really explore the function in a much broader, uh, broader sphere. I think that, you know, I'm very optimistic that, that this is going quite well. And I think that over the upcoming you know, year or two, it, it's important to start thinking about industrial partners who may be interested in, in further development, certainly for the um, science and technology investment to pay off, we'd like to see the technology transition to someone who really has the interest and capability to um, roll this out so that it can have a real impact on people's safety.